After apologizing to Benaza, Bellarosa and others confront the little girl. Meanwhile, Benaza is confused about the sudden turn of events. But then, the girl shows her real form and introduces herself as Fenris, who is one of the heavenly kings of the Demon Lord's army. Needless to say, everyone is taken aback by this grave encounter. Since the royal knights didn't stand a chance against Fenris, Benaza decides to teleport them back. However, Benaza stays behind to face Fenris. Thus, their fight begins. Both parties exchange blows. However, Benaza manages to pin Fenris using gravity magic. Fenris uses multiple spells to break free from Benaza's spell. Meanwhile, the voice suggests using subjugation, but Benaza refuses to eliminate Fenris. Despite trying so hard, Fenris couldn't break free from Benaza's gravity spell. Thus, with no other choice, she gives up and admits defeat. Fenris tells Benaza to eliminate her, but Benaza refuses. In response, Fenris then calls Benaza naive. She also proceeds to return to her girl form. After that, Fenris passes out due to exhaustion. After a while, Fenris tells Benaza that she was ready to accept her death, but Benaza showed mercy on her. As a result, she promises to never attack any humans ever again. Then out of nowhere, Fenris implies that since Benaza possesses great power, she acknowledges Benaza as her master. At first, Benaza opposes the idea, but soon Fenris starts emotionally blackmailing Benaza. Thus, with no other choice, Benaza accepts her as his servant. Hi. Benaza also reveals he is from another world, and he was summoned as a hero candidate, but he was tossed aside for being weak. He also shows her his true self. Benaza also tells her that following him will only make her suffer, but Fenris vows to stay by his side no matter what. Thus, Benaza gets a cute demon waifu, 